Can I beat Borderlands 2 as Axton without any items? Rules. Oh, hey, I spelled it right for once. I can't use items. Somehow, that has caused confusion in the past, so let me be specific. You see these eight item slots? These slots here that hold items that there are eight of? The eight slot holding item spots? Yeah, I can't use those. That's it. I started my adventure by picking the only axed in head and following Claptrap to his house. For once, I'm actually gonna hold on to the starting items, because despite the fact that touching them gives me mild panic attacks, Marcus could possibly find a use for them, and I like having dollars. There's a decent bit of game that I need to play before I play the game. I went to Digistruct Peak and completed the most difficult mission in the game that involves pressing a single button to open a door, and I got to level 3. After that, I went to Fight for Sanctuary, sat through 52 years of cutscene, and then let Mordecai kill some guys for XP. This doesn't mean I like Mordecai, alright? He's useful here, and here alone. With the help of Mordecai, I got to level 5. I could have kept going, but I didn't want to give Mordecai the satisfaction. Also, I only needed enough XP to unlock the turret to make killing Knuckle Dragger a little less- Oh my god, wow, yeah, that was the easiest shit in the world. My turret cleared out Liarsburg with less than no effort, and I saved Hammerlock. Who should honestly be embarrassed that he couldn't fight off those bandits when I, a naked man with a robot gun, did. Claptrap led me to a group of bandits, and it became pretty clear that this challenge is just going to turn into turret only without a shield. So to try to disprove that, I ran into the next group of bandits turretless, and it went way better than it should have, and I still have no idea why that worked out. Can you guess how Boom Boom went? Bad. The second time, I somehow got a second wind off Boom, and then barely got a second wind on Boom. Can you guess how Flint went? Well, I threw my turret in and left the arena, and then the second I went back into the arena, I died. So not great. I'd say, not great. This time, I decided to stay outside the arena, and I still managed to die! Well, I killed Flint and got a second wind, so it worked out. Hey, check my health bar. Nice. I tried to get to Sanctuary, but they said no, so I asked nicely and they let me in. After that, Jessup opened the gate in record time. Which means this is gonna be a good run. Then I decided, fuck struggling, I'm gonna use my auto hockey script to farm fight for Sanctuary up to level 22. If you don't like that I did that, don't worry, I have a solution for you. Time to get Lilith. This time I didn't go with my standard strategy of hiding and letting her deal with it. That's a lie, I still did. Turns out Frau got stolen by the bloodshots like a dumb little stoop little dum-dum, and it's my job to go rescue him because Lilith is too much of a pussy to do it herself, and she likes my vibe, I guess. To get to the bloodshots, I have to take on the dreaded cars section, which might be the most difficult part of the run. Just kidding, I'm 10 levels over-leveled and cars aren't items. Bye, Bad Ma. The Bloodshot Stronghold only has two sections where you have to kill anything, so I easily ran past the enemies and made it to Frau. I said I easily ran past them and I easily- I- Okay, is that the last- Of course not. Okay, I difficultly ran past them and made it to Frau, who got stolen again like a dumb little stupid little dum-dum. If the blood shots were that bad, I can only imagine how bad the ramparts are gonna be. Uh, really easy, I only died once. And then the turret killed the warden in like five seconds. Nice. Oh boy, time for a Mordecai mission. I met Tina, Tina's bombs got stolen, gotta get bombs. Off to a good start. Slight problem, Tina's bombs are guarded by bandits with guns that shoot bullets, and bullets hurt my feelings. Somehow I managed to ignore their insulting bullets and got the bombs without catching the big sad, also known as death. With the bombs, I hijacked the train using the loosest possible definition of the word hijack, which means it's time to kill Wilhelm. And by that, I mean it's time for my turret to kill Wilhelm, which it did with less than no effort. Hey, that's a funny looking power core. Uh. Whoops. Honestly, this whole section is lame. Let's fast forward. I ran through the fridge as fast as possible, I ran through the outwash station as fast as possible, and I tried to kill the Thresher as fast as possible, but my turret decided that a random enemy halfway across the planet was a more important target, leading to an emotional roller coaster of a fight. Come on, bitch. Oh, what? Oh my god. Don't you dare. 
Don't you dare. Oh. Wow, that went. Then Overlook happened. Yeah, who gives a shit? I made it back to Sanctuary. Mordecai's dumbass lost the Claptrap upgrade thing, so now it's on me to take on the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. You know what I hate about the preserve? Everything. It took me seconds to go down the first time, and then seconds to go down again. This time, with no hope of a second wind, I got killed by the first enemy I saw. This is gonna go great. It definitely doesn't help that I'm not overleveled anymore, but I'm gonna pretend that doesn't matter and try anyway. Mordecai wants me to injure the loaders but not kill them, but this turret has a mind of its own, and also, fuck Mordecai. So they're all gonna die. The door opened anyway, proving my hypothesis that Mordecai's a dumb cunt, and then I died, proving my hypothesis that Mordecai's a dumb cunt. I ran full speed through the next section, which somehow worked out. My turret break? Yeah, of course my turret broke. Jesus Christ. And even though there's a new use station right fucking there, I respawned at the beginning of the map. Okay, Randy. I know I've yelled at you in the past. I've been mildly not nice to you. But I just have one question. Go fuck yourself. I ran back again and actually hit the new you this time. Not that it matters because all the skags are just gone. And I made it to the most difficult part of the level. I have to kill everything here. Okay, it's not difficult, just annoying. Well, the turret is doing most of the work, so it's really just a lot of running and waiting. It actually didn't take too long, which was pleasantly surprising. But then the moment I'd been dreading finally arrived. The super badass loader ate my turret's attack like they were nothing, and then did a murder on my turret. If it weren't for the invincibility tree, this would be going a lot different. But everything succumbs to the robot gun eventually. That actually wasn't that bad at all. That loader was kind of a bitch. Now the only thing between me and Bloodwing is a bunch of robots. This should be easy. Okay, second time's the charm. You didn't see that. Second time's the charm. The sun was in my eye, that doesn't count. Alright, we can just round that down to first try. Woo! Bloodwing time! Alright, turret, it's all up to you. Get a good few hits in here, maybe. Oh, wow! Well... Okay. Okay. It's missing some of them, but god damn. Dude, that shock phase halfway done, too. Yeah, shock phase is basically over. I mean, I will say, when the skags come out, I'm a little fucked. There's no point keeping these skags alive, either, because I'm not getting any second wins anytime soon. Unless I have the turret already out. And that's my life. Yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. No. Don't tell me this is doable. This can't be. This can't be. Come on. That still hits? What the fuck? What the fuck is this fight? So if Bloodwing flies away, the fight resets. Wow. Okay, so slight problem. The fight does reset, so I have to stay right at the edge. Go fighter pussy be a man? No. The fuck? What the fuck was that? Oh, I'm gone. I'm out. Left the building. Don't hit the skags. Hit the bird. Okay, it's in shock phase. I think the shock phase has a smaller Nova, so maybe I'll be okay. Okay, do I get hit by this? Yes, I do, but it does less. It does less damage, so that's good. Do I have any abilities that will just passively heal me? She's back in fire phase. Uh-oh. Well, that hit. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. I'm just gonna have to... I'm gonna have to go down there. For once, they actually designed a boss fight that's difficult to cheese. Good for you, Randy. Fuck you. So I ran into the arena ready to fight this dumb bird the way God intended. By running in circles and throwing out my turret. It shredded through the fire and shock phases, but the corrosive phase is easily the most deadly. Despite that, the turret managed to barely finish the fight at the last possible second. Yeah, it turns out I didn't need to cheese the fight after all. That was really easy. I went a thousand cuts to get the best boy. I made it to Brick's throne room, died, spawned a loot guy which killed me, spawned a second loot guy which also killed me, died again, and then I just started throwing my turret from outside the arena to deal with them because they're hurting my feelings. They kept breaking my turret, so it took a lot of throws before they finally went down. But if it's a war of attrition they want, then I'll just fucking throw robot guns at them until they die. When the loot guys finally died, I was confident I had dealt with the brunt of the danger. So I ran back in and I was right. And then I died. Back to this. 
Eventually, the last enemy fell and Brick was impressed by my brilliant tactics. Then we worked together to destroy some beacons. Yeah, this is lame. Time to fight the bunker! Oh, no, time to go to Opportunity. Why do I always forget this place exists? Oh, because it's really easy and lasts five minutes like me. Okay, time to fight the bunker! I'm not worried about the bunker, but I am worried about getting to the bunker. As usual. And I was right, as I was immediately expelled from the planet. This first part shouldn't be too bad, since the only thing I need to kill is the Constructor. But the only thing the enemies have to kill is me, and oh boy are they good at it! But that didn't stop me from running in face first, ready to take on... Death, apparently. I died a small handful of times, but eventually I managed to die a large handful of times. But I finally killed all of the loaders, leaving only the Constructor, which I hid from and threw the turret at it until it died. The door opened and I made my way up the mountain. Just kidding, I died first, then I made my way up the mountain. Fun fact about the badass Constructor. You can just hide in this crate and it can't hit you. My turret did a good bit of damage, but then it fucking nuked itself to death. I've never seen that happen before. Okay, now it's actually time to fight the bunker. I've made decisions. They are not good. Fuck you. Get a get away from me. You know what? I'm not giving you the satisfac Hold on. Just just give me a second. I'm not giving you the satisfaction, loser. Let's see how much damage the turret does to the bunker, if it'll actually target it, which is unlikely. I'm just gonna stay up here, because the loaders don't come up here as much. Oh, you- you bastard! Bunker, do me a favor, and just kinda like, stay where you are for a bit. Yep. Okay, you know what? You know what? That's not the worst damage I've ever seen. After dying so many times, I don't think I have enough money to survive this fight. Oh, fuck you. You absolute fuckface. Why? Stop spawning down here. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Shoot the turret. Shoot the turret, not me. Chill the fuck out, bunker. What was that about? Maybe this time the turret will hit him. Or maybe the second I throw it will fly away. Or the turret just won't target him. That, that works. I swear to god if he goes back to the same spot. Oh my lord. Okay, so I think should be last cycle now, right? No. No it is not. Bad decisions. Woo! That was honestly just a massive waste of time and potentially going to cause my death. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. No! Come on! How much more do I need to bully you? Uh-oh. I've made decisions. Okay. It's last cycle, so it's gonna stay there forever. I just gotta chuck a turret at it and I'll win. I'm not gonna punch it. I'm not taking that risk. Oh my god. Nope, nope, not taking risks. Bye. Poke it? I refuse. I refuse to poke it. And yeah, that's a dead bunker. I made it to Control Core Angel and then immediately went back to fight for Sanctuary and got to level 31. I had to make the climb all the way back to bunker, but do I look like I care? Yes, I do. It was a bad decision. But I made it back to Control Core and managed to kill Frau without much of a struggle. Everyone was a little upset at me for killing Frau, so they kicked me out of Sanctuary. I went to Sawtooth Cauldron trying to make new friends, but they didn't seem super happy to see me. Uh, probably because I keep killing them. Just a theory. Well, I blew up some of their helicopters and Brick decided he wanted to be my friend again, so it worked out. I turned some valves, died, turned some more valves, tried to fix a pipe, but it turns out I'm a bad plumber, ran away from a big robot man, and then expertly performed the Saturn skip. Oh, that's some Bologna. Oh! I'm out of grenades. Yeah, well, I figured that would happen. Oh, fuck you and your nuke. All right, I'm going around. I ran away from Big Robot Man again and went up the elevator like a loser. Then I died. After that, I decided, fuck it, I'll try the skip again. And this time it went perfectly. All right, it killed Saturn. Jesus Christ. Oh, and then I did the skip. Okay. 
I found the location of the vault, and believe it or not, I went there. I fought some robats, which went really well. I met up with Brick, and slowly but surely, but mostly painfully, I made it to Jack. Well, every time Jack turns invisible, my turrets decide to piss off the birds, so that's annoying. But Jack got scared of my robot guns and started running away. Then he vanished, and my lack of object permanence took over, and I forgot he was there. Eventually, I remembered why I was there, and I managed to kill Jack. The warrior was released. This was it. The most difficult fight of the run. I had to play perfectly if I wanted any hope of hiding and letting my turrets deal with it. The warrior can't hit you from here, so it was just a matter of waiting for him to be within turret range, which I totally did. Okay, back to actually doing what I should be doing. The fight took about 45 minutes, but with the perfect hiding spot, it was only a matter of time before the warrior became the worry were. Get it? Because it's like the warrior, but like were so it's past tense because the warrior's dead so like fuck you i beat the game now you might be thinking did i stop at normal mode like a little bitch or did i keep going into tvhm like a masochistic dummy yeah you better believe there's a part two to this shit patron shout outs if you want to get my videos a week in advance and vote on what challenges i do next the link is in the description also, I stream on Twitch every Monday and Friday, so come, you know, check that out. It's fun, good, good times. We we have fun, L lots of lots of laughs and and uh, other. Uh, if uh, it's good, it's good times.